Unreal Engine 4.18 has added in a new plugin that allows us to directly access the Android camera using the new Media Framework. So we have our little sample project here, for example, using Media Framework. And using this program, I can show you what it looks like inside my phone right now. And you can see we have access to the Android camera directly inside of Unreal Engine. So let's go ahead and take a look at this and how it works. First thing we need to do is enable the plugin, if you have not already. So under plugins, if we simply type in Android, we'll find the Android camera player. This allows us to preview items, capture items and such using the new plugin. So if you enable it, you'll restart your program and then it's going to simply work. There are a few options. So let's go ahead and go into our project settings. We're going to scroll down to our new section for the Android camera. And we're going to look at the options. These are basically requirement options. So enable permissions we want to turn on and that's going to let our app know. It's going to add it to the manifest and let it know that we want to use the camera. This one basically requires a camera. This will give us an er error if we don't have a camera. These two options, this is also useful for on the um, Google Play Store because it will basically will restrict phones that don't have valid cameras from actually downloading the app because it's a requirement. So these are the same things, but these are specific for the back facing camera and the front facing. So maybe you want to do something with selfies on the front facing or some sort of weird partial augmented reality or just allowing them to capture photos for use in your game, you might require the back camera. So these are basically just requirements and permissions. By default, enable permissions will be checked. We can leave it like this. In order to actually use it, we're going to use the new media framework system and we use the new enumerations. If you haven't already, go ahead and look at the framework system for media, but it's going to require basically a media player. In this case, I have a media player created. I have a video media texture that I'll be using to display on the any surface I want and then a material made out of that. These are all standard for the media framework. The difference here is I'm actually going to be opening up the specific video camera URL that is the identifier in the hardware to get access to this camera. In order to do that I'm using a UMG widget and for ease of use so I can swap through the different cameras I just have a little bit of code here but the basics for what matters is the enumerate webcam capture devices node. This will basically return back any devices that meet any criteria, but it's going to give us all of our webcam information. There are a few different enumerate nodes inside of the new uh, 4.18 video capture, audio capture, and webcam devices. For Android phones, for Android devices, for the camera, we want the webcam capture device. After that, we're going to get back a devices array. This is going to be an array of all of our devices. And in that case, you can split it up and for each device you will get a display name and an URL. The URL is the identifier for that piece of hardware and the display name is whatever name they've decided to give it in the hardware. You use the open URL node connected to a media player. In this case it's that media player I created here. All I did was simply make a variable called media player and point to it. Now that we have that node open URL pointing to the media player get rid of that we're telling it to open that URL for that specific camera. For this example, all I'm doing is looping through the different cameras, but you can iterate for specific ones in a second. I'll show you how to do that. Or if you happen to know something ahead of time, you could it open up just that specific one. But we call the open URL and that's it. I'm gonna deploy this again. We'll run through the example and I'll show you a few different things here. So let's open that back up inside of our example here. If I could figure out where I hit it. Uh, it would help if I actually clicked on things properly. Sorry about that. Uh, here we go. So we'll start it back up. Here's our project. And it'll go ahead and go through here. Now again, every time I click this button, it's going to enumerate. It's going to find my devices. It's going to allow me to give the name and the URL. I'll feed the URL into open URL. And there we go. We get Android back camera. And as you can see, there's my back camera. And then we have camera again and we'll get Android front camera and there we go you can see me hi everybody and the front camera is working and I can iterate back through it again if I want and cycle between the back camera those are my two available cameras okay so we'll go ahead and get that out for there those are the basics now in terms of determining a specific camera you want 
using the enumerate webcam capture devices node, we could pull off of here and make a bit mask. And you're right here, you'll have make bit mask. This gives us this node right here. By default, this node will have none, and it's simply going to allow you to set individual flags. Epic has conveniently given us a few different types of bit masks or enumerated options, basically. So for in this case, we can go to the webcam capture device filter. And now we'll get things like depth sensor, front, rear, and unknown. So if we only want to see the front one, for example, we could do front. And if we were to compile this, plug it in here, we're only going to get back the front camera. Assuming your device only has one camera on the front, you would be safe to get the first result from this out devices index and go ahead and open that up. So, you know what, I can show you that right here. Let's go with the rear. So we're going to go with the rear right here. I'll go ahead and get rid of this. We're going to go out and we'll just do a git. We'll get a reference to this. We're going to get the first result and we'll do the same thing we did before. So actually here we are going to break this apart. We can close this up. Uh, doo -doo -doo. We can pull this into our display name right here. We can go Earl right here, and we can close this out. And this is basically going to duplicate what we had before, but now whenever we push the button, it's simply going to grab our first device, and that first device will be the rear bitmask camera. Actually, you know what? We showed you wor working last time where the rear was the first camera. Let me make sure. Let me show you that for sure this is working properly. I'll bitmask you for the front, so that way this time when I click the button. Before, we would get the rear, then the front. This time, we're going to get only the front. So we'll go do that. Hopefully, it's hooked up properly. Let's go ahead and deploy this out to my Android device. And while that is running and launching, processing, building, you know, the normal stuff when we're doing Android stuff, um, we will go ahead and pull up my emulator here and get it to display it. Once it finishes running, come on. Anytime now, phone. You can do it. Oh, oh, there we go. We'll go ahead and we'll look over here at our nice media texture wall. We'll go ahead and face it for an awesome selfie. We'll hit camera, and you notice, boom, right to the Android front camera with my finger in the way, of course. There we go. Hi, everybody. I'll go ahead and click the button again. And you notice each time it's simply going right to the Android front camera because it's the only option. Okay, and that's it. That is basically a summary of how the new Android camera plugin works and how you would use it inside of Unreal Engine 4.18.